dive time, everybody. Today, we're diving into a world where ancient powers have totally flipped society on its head. Mm -hmm. And uh, we're talking about modern mythology, the tabletop RPG. And you brought me the actual rule book, so I'm ready. We'll really get into character creation, the world, how it all comes together at the table. You know, that's what I love about tabletop stuff. There's something really cool about how this game keeps things simple, lets the story really be the star. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, one of the things that pops out when you open this thing is that Modern mythology really emphasizes storytelling, like character-driven action. Yeah. You don't need a ton of materials to play. It's streamlined. So we're saying like no giant boxes of miniatures and terrain. Exactly. In fact, the rule book even says, unlike computer games, playing this game requires very little. I love that. Rule book, dice, imagination, that's it. Just like the classics, all about that imagination. But enough about the how to play, right? Let's talk about the characters. That's the heart of any RPG. And this is where this game, Modern Mythology, does not disappoint. It has a seriously in-depth character creation system, lets you build a hero that's really yours. Okay, so walk me through it. How do I build my own post-human legend? What are the first steps? All right, so first you're deciding if you want to be a star, shaping the story with your actions, or the director. Right, so the director is basically our dungeon master. Oh, yeah. yeah. Guides oh. the story, referees. Exactly, they bring that world to life. But let's say you're going to be a star, okay? You'll start by figuring out your power level. Basically, how strong is your character? How strong are we talking? Could I be like a street level vigilante or could I go full on Superman? It is really up to you. If you want to be a street level vigilante protecting your neighborhood, you go for it. Yeah. You want to be on a pantheon of world savers fighting giant monsters, also doable. So your power level affects your starting power and how much you can influence the world. Okay, so that's a pretty big range. Hmm. But how do I go from concept to actually building this character? Do I pick my powers? Mm -hmm. Modern mythology actually adds a cool layer here. You choose an origin for your character, and it's not just backstory, it affects your stats. Origin stories. Okay, now I'm intrigued. What kind of options are we talking about? There's a bunch, each ties into the world's history. Like, imagine you could tap into the legacy of the Atlanteans, the beings who first brought magic and super tech to Earth. So I could play as like a descendant of these ancient super beings. Right, and it's not just a cool title. It determines your starting attributes, your body, mind, senses, willpower, social aptitude, and power potential. It's your base before you customize further. Okay, so if I wanted to be like a super genius hacker, I'd go with an origin that's got bonus mind points or something. Exactly, or maybe you want a techie brawler. Pick the origin known for strength, but use your starting points to bump up mine too. Character points? Is that how we fine tune? You got it. Based on your power level, you get these points to spend on your attributes, skills, and then later, abilities, total customization. I do love that. So first, origin gives me a foundation, then I tweak it. What's next? After attributes would be skills. This yeah. is classic RPG stuff, stealth, technology, combat. But what I like is how they tie it into the setting. What do you mean? Give me an example. Well, they've got cryptozoology, which is understanding all the weird creatures that showed up after this nemesis event, or like etiquette, even if you're super strong, knowing how to handle a fancy party could be important. It's not just about punching good. It's about mm. navigating this strange new world. Exactly. And once your skills are sorted, then you get to the final touch traits. So traits, this is where we make our heroes unique, right? Their quirks, their flaws, the stuff that makes them feel real. Exactly. And they're just as important as any superpower. You could be courageous, get a bonus in a fight, or maybe your character is a bit covetous. Ooh, covetous. Always after treasure. That could be fun in the game. Right. And some are tied to the world. There's one, Passio Autumn Deus. It's like leftover Atlantean genes affecting you. So my character's past, their literal bloodline is affecting how they experience the world. That's cool. And that's just scratching the surface. Wait, there's more. We haven't even gotten to superpowers yet. You're right. We've covered origins, attributes, skills, traits, but uh, yeah, we haven't even gotten to the superpowers yet. Abilities. Time to get into what makes these heroes extraordinary. I am so ready. Hit me with your best abilities. Uh, what's the coolest stuff in here? Can I teleport? Can I like control the elements? Oh, modern mythology does not skimp on the power fantasy. You got your classics, hyper strength, Hyper reflexes, teleportation, mm. you know, the staples. Got to have those. Got to have those. Yeah. But I'm sensing modern mythology goes a bit beyond that, right? Oh, absolutely. This is where they lean into the science, the myths, the weirdness of that nemesis event. You want gravity control. Wait, gravity control? 
I could like make things weightless, make mini black holes. Got it. Gravity control is just one example of how they get creative with the powers. Okay, that is seriously cool. But what about something, I don't know, a little more elemental? Could I say like summon a firestorm, command the earth to swallow my enemies, that sort of thing? Naturally. Elementalism is huge in modern mythology. But it's not just chucking fireballs, right? We're talking like manipulating water molecules to make tidal waves, commanding the earth to open up beneath your enemy's feet. Now, that's what I call elemental mastery. Yeah. I've got to ask, though, can I go full necromancer and command an army of the dead? Modern mythology has you covered there, too. Necromancy, very potent ability. Imbue the dead with power, drain life force, all sorts of fun stuff. Okay, this is getting interesting. But <laughs> how does the game make sure with all these abilities that one player doesn't just outshine everybody? Is there some kind of balancing act? That's where their ATR system comes in. Attack, time, range. Okay, break that down for me. Basically, each ability is ranked in those three. So simple example, right? Fireball. Maybe attack of five, time of one, meaning one action to cast. Range of 20 feet, a stronger version, maybe a bigger range, hits more targets, something like that. So it's about making sure everyone has a chance to be awesome. Precisely. And what I like is modern mythology doesn't limit you to just fighting powers. You could be a super genius inventor with hyper intellect. So build crazy gadgets, hack into anything instantly. Now that sounds fun. Exactly. Or be the charismatic leader who can sway people with hyper charisma. Subtle or in your face, it's up to you. So I can be like Stephen Hawking mixed with Doctor Strange. <laughs> the possibilities. Though with so many abilities, it's got to be hard to pick. What advice would you have when picking an ability for a character? I'd say let their origin story guide you. The ability should make sense for who they are, where they come from. An Atlantean might want powers that make them even more physically or mentally superior, while a child of the Dark Star, maybe they're drawn to the chaotic energies of that nemesis event, you know? So find the powers that fit their story. I, I love that. Speaking of story, though, how do these abilities actually play out in the game? It's one thing to have them on paper. Yeah, so in modern mythology, abilities are more than just mechanics for combat. They drive the story. They reveal things about the character. Ooh, I like where you're going with this. Give me an example of how an ability might shape my character's whole deal. Okay, so let's say necromancy again. Yeah. On the surface, controlling the dead. But what if it takes a toll? What if the character struggles to control those spirits, or that line between life and death starts messing with them, leads them down a dark path? So unintended consequences. Exactly. Power, but also turmoil. That's good story fuel. Okay, you've sold me on the ability system. That's awesome. Right. But where does all this take place? What's the world of modern mythology like? Get ready, because the setting is just as cool as character creation. Imagine. Earth, but forever changed by that nemesis event we keep mentioning. And we're not talking just a few more super people. This thing remade the planet. So we've covered character creation, we talked about all those wild powers, but where's all this cool stuff actually happen? What's the world of modern mythology actually like to play in? Oh, get ready, because the setting's just as cool as making your character. Picture this, right? Earth, but totally changed by that nemesis event. And I don't mean just like a few extra superheroes, I mean remade the planet. Okay, so less like comic book city and more the whole world's our playground. Exactly. You've got everything from a lunar base, it's called Unity One, to the hollow earth, like a whole hidden world beneath our feet. Imagine one day you're exploring ancient ruins, the next you're jetting off to a moon base. It's wild. Hold on. Hollow earth, as in dinosaurs, lost civilizations, that hollow earth. That's the one. A place of myth untouched by the sun. Bioluminescent jungles, creatures everyone thought were extinct. Maybe even remnants of those Atlanteans hanging out down there. Okay, that alone has me sold. But let's talk about those factions you mentioned earlier. We've got heroes, we've got monsters, who are the power players in this world. Well, you've got your classic power structures, the reunited states trying to hold it together. But then you've got groups like the African Imperial Union, led by Queen Mabaya. She's embraced the old ways and futuristic tech, making her a major player. See, it's details like that that make it feel real. You're not just plopping into a generic world. There's already history there. Exactly. And, of course, where there's power, there's always someone trying to misuse it. Right. That's where our villains come in. All right. Hit me with it. Who are the big bads our heroes might go up against? Well, there's the 1,000-year Reich, which, you know, pretty on-the-nose threat in this new world order. They blend advanced tech with, uh, let's just say, a very particular ideology 
bad news. It's a good reminder that even with magic and superpowers and all that, some things never change. Yeah, for real. Mm. And then you've got threats on a whole other level. Ancient entities like Azazel, Astaroth, we're talking demonic powers, ties to the fall of Atlantis, the kind of baddies that could unravel reality as we know it. Okay, so world-ending threats. Good thing players have those awesome abilities we discussed. Right, and that's what's great about modern mythology. It works for all sorts of players. You could be fighting conspiracies one session, then dealing with a haunted house in your hometown the next. So whether you want to be the street-level hero cleaning up their city, or join a pantheon to punch out a god, there's a place for you at this table. Exactly, and that really gets at the heart of it, you know? It's all about player choice. Not just what your character can do, but what they choose to do in this world. So like... Mm -hmm. Do I use my powers for good or for myself? Do I make deals with demons or fight to keep them locked away? I love that the game doesn't shy away from that. And those choices actually matter. It's not just about winning or losing, but the kind of hero you become along the way. Okay, consider me sold. This modern mythology RPG's got it all. Cool world, flexible character creation, and a system that makes your choices really matter. Great deep dive. And that's barely scratching the surface. There's so much more in the rulebook at the table. So, to all our listeners out there, if this deep dive has sparked your imagination at all, go check out Modern Mythology. <sighs> Create a hero, explore this awesome world, tell your own stories. Because in a world reshaped by ancient powers, the only limit is your imagination.